Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this beachy, wavy hair tutorial. I used my tried and true Numi Titan 3 curling wand. Now I purchased this myself. I've been using it for the past six, seven years maybe and absolutely love it. But I wanted to try style my hair a different way. I saw this tutorial on YouTube and was inspired to try it on my own hair considering I've got like decently long hair. So yeah, if you guys want to see how you can get this hair look or how you can achieve the style of like beachy separated PC waves then keep watching. I've got my Numi Titan 3 curling wand. I've also got the middle size barrel. I don't know what size this is. I'm gonna plug this in and I purchased this with my own monies years and years ago. So I'm just gonna plug this in. First up, I'm gonna brush my hair. I'll mute this part because my microphone's there. Oh, and I'm using my Tangle Teaser Vented Hairbrush. So this was part of a PR send out that last year and I've used it so much. Like I still, you can tell the bristles are like burnt bent because I use it so much. It's really good with the knots in your hair and gliding through it. I should have done this before I got onto camera because it's so rough with my hair. Okay, so we're brushed. Second step is I'll use some heat protectant. I've got the L'Oreal No Haircut Cream. I'm almost out of this, so. I need to buy more. So run a heat protectant through your hair, especially the ends. Because we do not want to ruin our hair. Brush the rest of that out. I feel like I had to redeem myself after my last my last hair video. Now I'll turn my curling iron on. I usually just have it set to the normal amount so I just turn it on and then it just starts heating up. It heats up very quickly. I usually just let mine stay at 180 degrees. I don't have my hair on it for that long or I try not to. It came with gloves but like it's been six or some seven years since I've had mine so I bought some gloves from AliExpress. Obviously not as good but they do the trick. So these things on the gloves melt off really easily so try not to have if you do choose to buy these gloves and just try not to have them holding the wand because it will melt. But gloves. Oh I also have some hairspray so I've got the L'Oreal Elnet Satin hairspray and I've got the Very Volume with pro keratin keratin one. I kind of just section my hair a little bit. So I just see like a small section here because I know once I'm done with like the rest of it, I've only just got this much to go and the finish line is near. So we will leave this for last. You know what? It's probably better for me to do this side first and then that way it's not interfering with the mic. And then that side I can do, I can like time lapse. Bring all of my hair to the front. So this is hot. Yeah, prime example, don't touch this because it can easily, what is it called? Melt. Silly goose. There's like one main kind of technique of this. And all you do is you grab like a small, smallish section. Actually, or should I just leave my sections down? Because it doesn't really matter. So that's pinned and I can stay there. I will say that sometimes like you'll get some product on here like hairspray or whatever. So I usually like to keep a old face towel and then you're just going to wipe it off because it's hot enough that whatever's on it will wipe off. Just be careful you don't leave it on for too long otherwise you might burn your towel. Grab a piece of my hair. I usually kind of start at the back just because it's sort of easier. I try to keep my hair flat but I'll just wrap it around the barrel and I leave a little bit out hopefully you guys can see kept a little bit out the hair is flat against the barrel and this one is away from my face and then once it's you've held it for a couple of seconds I just let it go and then you pull the hair like you pull the curl out. It's gonna take a while for me to explain, but usually what I would do is I would like hold the curl to try to get it to cool in my hand. Whereas this one, 
I pull it out. Now, I did not come up with this. I saw this on a YouTube video. I think it was Chris Appleton. It's kind of like a, more of a like wave curl. It's like more of a wave, if you know what I mean. So just by pulling that out, it looks like this. Okay, it's a lot easier when I am not filming a video. Like it's a lot quicker because I don't have to um, explain what I'm doing. So the last time I did this, I did all the curls away from my face, but I found that I had to keep separating them throughout the day because they try they go into the same curl pattern because they're all facing the same way. So today I'm going to be doing every other curl. I'm going to curl. I'm going to alternate curls. So that one was away from my face. So we'll do this one towards my face. So I'm going to hold the barrel horizontal. And then lay the hair flat again, like on it. And just like wait a bit. I touch my hair to see how like warm or hot it's getting. Once it's quite, once it's been there for like maybe 10 seconds, I pull out the um, curl. This also um, ensures that your hair doesn't look too short when you're curling because that can also happen as like your hair, when you curl it just kind of bounces up because it's all curled two curls so far going opposite directions so yeah every curl i'm gonna swap directions that way they're not gonna all like get stuck on each other and you're not gonna spend your whole day separating curls because otherwise then they're gonna fall in line with each other and then it's gonna be just yeah the whole day will spend separating so i'm just gonna do another one and that's quite hot and then I pull it out. I'm not, I'm not gonna hairspray until I've finished like this whole side. So yeah. You're gonna pull, pull, pull. Not too much, like you're not trying to pull it out of your head, but like you are trying to pull it straight. And then it's like this, kind of like wavy. So I'll do one more and then I'll time lapse the rest until I get to my face, like the front layers. Now the thinner the section, the less time you spend with your hair and on the tongs because they're tiny sections. So this one's a thinner section. So wait, this is meant to be towards. So yeah, she is towards my face, bit of a thinner section. So keeping an eye on like the heat. And that should be done. Whoa, she went quite curly real soon. I'm just going to pull that out. Yeah, okay. So the rest of my head, I'm just going to fast forward it and show you guys what it looks like when I get to the front layers. Now I'm just gonna, oh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the last few strands of hair, which were closer to the front of my face, I did away from my face because since I got to this one, I just didn't like, I don't like curls near my face to point towards my face because otherwise it's gonna go very like too much volume here. I'll half the section, even though I'm gonna be doing the same thing. We start a bit lower and I'm gonna be doing away from my face, but less it's not going to be on there as long and i kind of curl it out and like i'll pull out the wand whoa just so it's kind of like a looser wave i don't know what i what i did to the middle bit but 
I do need to go back and fix this part. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, and then this one, do the same thing, wrap it around, but I kind of just like run it through and pull it out, if you know what I mean. That did nothing. Well, it's kind of like loose-ish, but we'll do that again to kind of hold it in place for a bit. So wrap it away from my face and then keep it for a few seconds and then run it through. So it's just more of a looser way. Does that make sense? I like these. I want lots of these. It's kind of what I'm trying to achieve back here. Now that that's done, I'm gonna spray my hair with the L'Oreal Paris Elmer's Satin. I'll stand up and show you guys. So that's what they look like. And I'm just gonna give it a bit of a spray. So yeah, they're like not stuck together, but we are going to brush them through with my hands in a bit. Then I'm going to go through and do the other side of my hair. And I'll show you guys the front pieces when I get to the front. My arms are sore. <laughs> By the way, what I'm going to do right now after I do this is just get ready for bed. So all of this is being done just for a video. <laughs> And then this section. So wrap around the barrel, hold it for a few seconds, and then I'm going to start pulling it out. And pull it down so she's not so much of a curl. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done with that. I'll wipe some of the residue off. But do you see how like the ends are kind of like left out? Like they're kind of still PC because I didn't include them into like, I didn't curl to the end. And then I just start messing it up. Like start running my hands through it. And the fact that it's like, each, they're not all going the same way, means they kind of are a bit easier to keep separate. This gives me like Mirka and Ashley 2000s when they're making movies vibes. If I had highlights in my hair, it would be so much easier to see. But because I have no dyed hair, it's not as exciting. <laughs> Let's see if I can change my ISO to make that bit higher. There we go. Just for the sake of you guys seeing the curls. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's my go-to way of how I am currently styling my hair when I curl it with a curling tong. Let me know if you guys try this out and what you think of it. It just kind of gets better as it goes. If you guys have highlighted hair, then obviously it's going to look a lot better because you can tell like the little you'd be able to see the little highlights peeking through. It will give your hair a lot more dimension than just having one tonal hair like I do. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. Intro, intro, intro. Let me try to wipe that off of my pants. The, what is it called? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna curl every, what is this? <laughs> L'Oreal Paris.